I was 37 years old when I went to graduate school at Brown University. And by entering into the academy, I embarked on my third career. First I was in the theater, and then I was in book publishing, and then decided the academy is where I belonged. So I think that for me, the theme that ties all, all these careers together is that of storytelling. I'm Bill Hart, Associate Professor of History here at Middlebury College. My areas of specialization are Native American history, African American history, and early American history, largely known as the contact period. My interest in history began well before I went to graduate school. Uh, I was a little boy living in Ohio when I first became aware of and interested in the past. Uh, I remember sitting uh, at my grandmother's kitchen table uh, many a summer evening and listening to her and aunts and uncles weave stories about the family during slave days when they were slaves in Kentucky and Virginia. And I was just intrigued by, by their stories, which allowed me to visit another world at another time. When I was an undergraduate at Ohio Wesleyan University, I was a history major. I thought about being a geology major, but I liked the stories of people more than rocks. My first professional career was that uh, as an actor. My first professional job, uh, apart from Summerstock Theater in Kalamazoo, Michigan, was performing in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest in Boston. But my best experience, my most memorable experience, was performing in King Lear in Central Park with James Earl Jones. In him are many simples operative whose power will close the eye of anguish. I did uh, act on a soap opera called As the World Turns for a couple of years, but always as a bit player, I never had a large speaking role. This portion brought to you today by moist and easy cake mixes from Duncan Hines. And after a time, it, it's lost its luster, its satisfaction, and rather than be sa being satisfied with telling stories through the characters that I was performing, I wanted to tell my own stories through writing. So while acting in the mid-70s, I shifted over to playwriting. In my second career as a book editor at Dell, um, I was reading, editing, sometimes rewriting other people's stories. Original manuscripts that Dell would receive, and my job was to help that author make that book or that story as strong as possible. In the early 80s, I had an opportunity to become an administrator at Bard College. And while there, I met historians again and began to engage in conversations with them and discuss historical questions. And so um, after being an administrator for a couple of years, I decided to go to Brown at age 37 and pursue a PhD in history. So shortly after I began my dissertation in 1992, I saw an ad um, in, the, in the trades in which Middlebury College was looking for a professor to teach early American history, Native American history, and African American history. That's what I did. That's what I was studying. That's what I was writing about. So I applied. I'm about to begin my 23rd year of teaching here at Middlebury College. Uh, and this is my third career, but my most gratifying and satisfying career. I would not have abandoned my earlier careers in the theater or book publishing, because I believe that those other careers have informed my teaching and my scholarship uh, deeply. Because what I see doing as a teacher and as a scholar is telling stories about other peoples, um, I draw upon those lessons I learned as an actor in the classroom and as a playwright with my writing. And I think my 10-year-old self would have been really happy and satisfied that I had this circuitous route from performer to writer to now professor because it, all of them talk about what really interested me as a 10-year-old and that is stories.